we will now discuss another method the depletion method which again depends on the usage of the asset depletion method is largely used in case of mines quarries and other wasting asset mines where coal mineral deposits etc are found under the ground and there is a limited quantity of the mineral deposit so the more and more we extract the value of the asset the value of the mine actually comes down similarly quarries refer to such mines but largely above the ground and refer usually to stones like maybe limestone marble etc so the depletion method is largely used in mines and quarries and other wasting assets the amount of depreciation depends on the quantity of the mineral that we extract what is the depreciation just like we found out the depreciation per machine hour in the earlier method here we find out the depreciation per unit per unit of the mineral deposit extracted so here we take the cost of the asset and divide it by the number total number of units estimated to be extracted so depreciation is depreciation per unit into units extracted this is the depreciation that we would charge every year it would depend entirely on the number of units extracted and what is the depreciation per unit would be computed based on the total cost it's actually the depreciable amount divided by the total number of units estimated to be extracted again considering an example suppose p limited acquired a lease of a quarry mine for rupees 100 lakhs to operate for 20 years the total mineral deposit is estimated to be around 250000 tons assuming that the extraction of minerals was 2000 and 9000 in year 1 and year 2 what should be the amount of depreciation in year 1 and year 2 depreciation per ton would be the cost of the lease which is 100 lakhs divided by the total estimated deposit which is estimated at around 250000 tons therefore we get depreciation per unit or per ton extracted as rupees 40 per ton therefore the depreciation in year 1 would be 2000 into 40 80000 and in year 2 it would be 9000 into 40 that is 360000 again depending on the use of the asset so depreciation varies depending on the amount of extraction the amount of quarrying that has taken place it varies with the use